Why don't F1 cars have brake lights? Well, 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 here we are again, another F101. And before you comment, oh wow, Matt, everyone knows the answer to this, like you did before with the Why Don't F1 Cars Have Airbags video, I guarantee 2.3 million people as of recording didn't click on this just to comment that they already knew the answer. Although, saying that, I can now see the comment section for this video being a disaster. Anyway, why don't F1 cars have brake lights? Let's dive into the answer right now. Picture this, you're racing in a Formula One car, cool right? And you're doing over 300 kilometers an hour. You're battling someone and in their slipstream, potentially looking at overtaking into the next corner. When all of a sudden a brake light appears for the car ahead to signal that they're slowing down. Would this be helpful or a hindrance do you think? The answer is simple. The last thing a driver would want to be looking for or need in that situation is the braking lights of the car ahead. These are the top drivers in the world. Braking points are almost identical for all of the drivers, unless you're driving a really terrible Formula One car. And so they're highly aware when the car ahead will be likely to slow down. Now don't get me wrong, the FIA is all about safety within motorsport and have done a fantastic job at preventing accidents being much worse in recent times. Adding the halo, new fireproof suits, gloves that provide readings for the medical staff and so on. But adding brake lights would actually be more of a distraction to the drivers than anything else. It is also physically impossible for a human, yes F1 drivers are in fact human, to be able to react to a light on an F1 car, then slam on the brakes in time to not cause a crash. If you've missed your braking point, with or without a brake light, you're ending up in the rear of the car ahead. However, that's not to say there aren't lights on the rear wing or on the car to provide additional safety for the drivers. In 2019, the FIA ruled that rear wing lights would be fitted to the cars. These are a pair of LED lights running vertically up the rear wing end plates, as well as one large light on the back of the diffuser, which can signal when the car is in energy saving mode. The energy saving mode light is actually incredibly useful and acts kind of like a brake light in the sense that it warns the driver behind that the car will be slower in a straight line whilst this is flashing. For people wondering, when the car is in this mode, the hybrid engine is harvesting electrical power from the heat and wheel spin that the car is generating. You'll usually see this towards the end of a straight as this is the most efficient place for cars to be in a lower power mode, coming up to a braking zone basically. During heavy rain, God, I do love a rainy race, the lights on the back of the car double up as warning lights for cars behind. Use this as an example. When you're driving and it's foggy, you'll put your rear fog lights on for visibility. This is the same for Formula One cars, apart from the fact they don't have headlights, so rely even more on the rear lights of the car ahead. There you have it, why F1 cars don't have brake lights. What other questions do you have that you'd like us to cover? Let us know in the comments section below.